So today we're looking at installing our screeded staple system. This is one of the most traditional ways of fixing pipe on a screeded floor construction. It's just worth noting we do two sizes of staples. We do a 40mm staple and a 60mm staple. So depending on your thickness of insulation, you're covered either way. So, as always, we're going to make sure that we're going to put the conduit sleeve over. And then as we push it in, remembering that we've got those two clicks, one being the O-ring, one being the grab ring. So we need to make sure we push past both and in, and then just pull it back to make sure it's fully into the socket. So it's important to remember before you start with any screeded system, we ensure that we've laid what we call a vapour barrier over the insulation boards. This is to prevent any chemical reaction taking place between the screed and the insulation panel itself. Now what we've also got, as you can see behind me, is what we call the edge expansion. This serves two jobs. It creates a perimeter seal all the way around the room, as so the screed can't get down and underneath the insulation panels. But not only that, it also enables the screed to expand during normal operation as it firmly expands. So first, today we're going to look at the new Polypipe Underfloor Heating Control Pack. Also, we're going to look at the isolation valves and the auto balancing manifold. So first, moving from left to right, we've got the blending valve, which takes a hot supply and a cold supply and ensures that there's a controlled and stable outlet temperature for the underfloor heating system. Moving down from that, we've got a Grunfoss UPM3 pump with the Polypipe branding. And at the bottom of that, we've got an elbow. Now, the beauty of this elbow is it enables us to quickly orientate it on the right-hand side of the manifold should we need to. And that's due to these two unions either side being easier to swap out and flip round. Moving on from that, we've got the isolation valves that incorporate temperature gauges, and that ensures we can read a mean flow temperature running into the system and a mean return temperature coming back. So moving on from the isolation valves is the actual manifold itself, which is an auto balancing manifold, which is unique to Polypipe. This incorporates an AFC valve in the manifold, which enables us to, once we've set a flow rate, it maintains that flow rate, whether other circuits have shut down or if other circuits have been set up in terms of the flow rate. Okay, so what we've got here, we've made ourselves a little jig out of off-cuts of wood, just to ensure that now, once we've done one lap of the perimeter, that we're dropping in exactly 400 mil each time without having to measure it with a tape measure. Um, we, we've, we've opted for 400 mil because we're creating 200 mil centers with a return coming back out. Obviously, if you were to do 100 mil centers, you'd make your jig to suit a 200 mil gap at this stage. So as you can see, we've laid the circuit in a Biffle pattern, more commonly known as a spiral pattern. We've laid it at 200 mil centers, and it's just worth noting, when we've come around a 90 degree bend, we've had to put a couple of extra staples in here and there, just to ensure that we maintain that bend radius and it doesn't misshape and misform. For further information on the staple system, please refer to our installation guide. 